Welcome to part two, which would be what is SWB Audio Capture within the SWB Audio App interface. I think it'll be quite quick because it's quite a short section. I've got Audio MIDI set up over here, just for something slightly different. And then we have our old friend GarageBand, which is set to output to SWB Audio Capture. Let's change that to System Setting. So that means that GarageBand will output to whatever my default output device is. So that means we'll also hear it because currently you can see here there's a little speaker symbol. That means that that's my default device. So if I come over here and play, you'll hear it, hopefully through the mic, since I'm not recording it direct. Okay, uh, if I were to change that to be my, uh, if I could, sound input, are you mad? Oh, yeah, help if I chose the right thing, wouldn't it? If I chose my um, speakers, then you see GarageBand do a little bit of an initialization, it's coming out a different set of speakers. Wonderful. Okay. Um, now, when you've got an application that doesn't have the ability to change its output device, which is probably most of them, uh, you need a, uh, the only way that <coughs> SWB Audio Capture can get hold of the audio is by um, changing the system uh, default output to be itself. So let me put it back to how it was. That's what I normally have. That's my main speakers in my office. Uh, but if I wanted to record something, then I'd come up here, make sure that Make SWB Audio Capture Default Output is on, and then enable the preview. So what this is going to do is it's going to swap the device. Let me make this so that we can see it at the same time. Shift it over here. So when I enable it, you'll see that the default device becomes SWB Audio Capture. So all of the audio from my Mac is now going there. Uh, in addition, GarageBand updated itself because it saw it change. Uh, and it's going to route it there as well. And SWB Audio App, because of the preview, will route the audio so I can hear it. So now I've got it going to the Audio Capture device and I can still hear it. So that's it. That's what it's for. Uh, now, if I turn that off, if I turn off Make SWB Audio Capture Default, then we'll get the same preview, but we won't change the default. So watch what happens when I turn it on. OK, there's no change here. And that means that GarageBand, we're still going to hear it, but only because it's coming out of the speakers. Where are we trying to record from the input side of this device? Uh, we wouldn't actually get any audio because uh, GarageBand isn't set to output to it. So we play, but notice that the level is basically just doing nothing. So in that case, uh, I guess just to be completely, let's make it happen. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So we've changed GarageBand to output directly to the device. Preview still enabled. We haven't changed anything here. And I'll just play GarageBand. I will play GarageBand. There we go. Now we've got audio. And of course we can hear it because preview is running. I turn preview off. Still got audio coming into the device. We just can't hear it. So that's what the SWB Audio Capture section of SWB Audio App does. I hope that's been useful. Uh, if you have any questions about any parts of the user interface, uh, please do leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer it.